Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Health here on Magnificent Monday here in Connecticut. I got another one, another celebrity, man. Jesus, man. I don't know where these guys get their chutzpah. I really don't. Uh, well, I do. They're drug addicts. But over the weekend, Woody Harrelson <laughs> made a fool out of himself. Now, look, unlike Whoopi, who has a mean, nasty platform, unlike Alec Baldwin, who is, you know, murdering people involuntarily, but uh, I think Woody Harrelson is harmless. I do. Uh, I think that he doesn't hurt anybody outside of himself. And I'll tell you what, guys, we in this great land of ours, we are allowed, if I want to harm myself, I, I'm allowed to do that. But this guy goes on and does a entire monologue about how hilarious it is that he's been stoned for the last 40 years. And he admits it. He's on the cover of High Times and, and Rolling Stone, and he, he's just, okay, but again, my point here is, if that's what you want to do, fine. But at the end of the monologue, he goes on this rant about the drug cartels that are forcing us to take a vaccine, a drug, okay? Now, the problem I have with that is this, and I agree with him on that, but the problem I have with him is this. He's the last one that should be on that bandbox. Soapbox, whatever you want to call it. For decades, by his own admission, he has been lining the coffers, lining the pockets of the exact drug cartels that he is railing against. Also, they're bad, they're bad, they're bad, but I am going to prop them up with thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars of illegal weed. And yes, I have a problem with that. Either you're with the cartels or you're not. And it's just... I'm sorry. Now, again, I think he's harmless. I think everybody knows what he is. He's an adult that's stoned all the time. And again, I, I think it's problem. And I would have no problem with his monologue. I'm going to leave it down below. If he just left it, and hey, I'm a stoner, and I, I, I you know, transport illegal pot across the country, and uh, it's a big joke. Big freaking joke. But then he goes on against the drug cartels. And yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, these uh, environmentalists that Leonardo DiCaprio that rides a private jet to the Paris Climate Control Committees and talks about how everybody should be driving, you know, electric cars. It's just hypocritical. Do not, do not contribute to the number one cause of the problem and then complain about the problem. Nope. So, there you go. Another stoned out dolt that just thinks he's so important, he's got to set everybody straight. All right? All right. Love you all.